Okay, good morning. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this morning, we are here to, first of all, uh, present to you the coach of the Black Stars, Mr. Otoado. Then also, it is an opportunity for him to announce his call now. For the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Mali and Central African Republic. It will be recalled that in March this year, the Football Association announced that Coach Otoado is um, taking over as the coach of the Black Stars following our um, exit from the African Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. So the Football Association put a team together to select the next coach of the Black Stars and upon exhaustive processes, they settled on Mr. Otoado as the next coach of the team. Now, further to that, we also announced that the team will be playing two international friendly matches in Morocco. And you remember that we played against the Eagles of Nigeria, which ended 2-1, and then we played the Cranes of Uganda, which ended 2-2 in Morocco in March, after which he returned to uh, Germany to finally hand over at Borussia Dortmund. And so he is here on a long-term contract as the coach of the Black Stars. Now, in the first week of next month, we have two very important FIFA um, World Cup qualifiers. On June 6th, and the second one will be against Central African Republic at the Babaira Sports Stadium in Kumasi on June 10th. We announced last week that the team will begin campaign on Thursday, May 30, here in Accra. Training sessions will be held for a period of six days in Accra at the University of Ghana Stadium. And then the team shall depart the borders of Ghana on Tuesday, June 4, for Bamako. The first game is on the 7th, so we shall have two days in Bamako prior to the match. After that game, immediately after the match, we shall return to Ghana precisely Kumasi, where the team will be lodged for a period of four days. So on the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, the team will be lodged in Kumasi. And then on the 10th, we shall play against Central African Republic in the other Group I game. Now, before I hand over the microphone to the head coach, I would like to mention that we've got some of our technical team members here with us. Our assistant coach John Pinto, please uh, let's acknowledge him. We have our goalkeeper's trainer, Patao Dauda, also here. The technical director of the Football Association, Professor Joseph Malibu, is also here. We've got staff members of the Football Association, I can see my colleague, experiment. Chairman of the Regional Football Association and Executive Council member, Samuel Wabri, um, General Marabi in charge of marketing, Neil Armstrong, head of PR and strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, um, let me mention that um, a lot of considerations were made before these uh, players were settled upon to represent Ghana. However, there were some exceptions due to obvious reasons. The following players are injured, which is why they couldn't make the squad. They are as follows. Baba Hidisu has undergone surgery, so he couldn't make the squad. Inyaki Williams foot surgery to remove um, a foreign um, object in his foot, so he couldn't also make the squad. Majid Ashimeru couldn't complete the Cup of Nations and return to Anderlecht. He's been playing he's been in and out of their squad. He has a, a left calf muscle tear, so he couldn't also make the squad. Joseph Pinto has a hamstring injury. Nathaniel Eje was in the squad until he also had an ankle injury. Dennis Odwe also has a knee injury. And then Daniel Amati. He also has an ankle injury. So these players have been left out for injury concerns. Thank you very 
much. So at this moment, I will hand over to Coach uh, Otoaro. But before I take your questions, I would like to find out from him how he feels to be back and not on um, a part-time basis, but on a full-time basis as coach of the senior national team. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for a nice introduction. Um, to, the, to the injury, let me please um, add um, long-term injuries as like uh, co-feature and uh, use of edu. And uh, I also I spoke to them and they are hoping that they are in a good way to, to come back. Uh, hopefully they will come back soon um, to join us and um, uh, this Thank you very much for the kind words. I'm really, really excited and happy to be here, to be back. Um, it, was, it was not easy, um, um, but uh, the FA had a lot of good talks with, with Dortmund, and uh, even though I still had one more year contract, um, um, we managed to get out, and um, yeah. Back to Rome. I'm happy to go. I'm, I'm back home now. I'm really, really excited. I'm looking forward to the next match. It will be difficult, very, very difficult. Um, especially like we are some points behind um, the first place, and uh, as you know, only the first place we, we qualified. But um, yeah, it's a tough situation. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for the game and happy to manage. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your opening remarks, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time for us to take your questions. You will raise your hand. Uh, okay, so first, before that, let's uh, go to the squad. I am, I am in a hurry. <laughs> okay, so um, okay. for the goalkeepers, we have um, Lawrence Atiji Ziggy from Zangalan. And we have Joseph Wallacott uh, from Hibernian. We have uh, Ferry Asari from Asante Kotoko. Defenders, we have Gideon Menza from um, Oxea. Ebenezer Anan from Nobi Paza. And Mohamed Salisu um, as Monaco. Jerome Opoku from Basakshir, Istanbul. Then we have uh, Abdul Mumin from Rayo Balkano. Alexander Jiku from Penebashi, Istanbul. We have Alidu Seidu. From Stadran. We have Tariq Lamte from Brighton and Ho. In the midfield, we have uh, Mohamed Kudus from Western United. We have Ernest Nuama from Olympic Lyon. We have Salis Abdul Samet from RC Lyons. And we have uh, Ibrahima Sulemana from Kayari. We have Thomas Pate from Arsenal. We have Edmond Adu. From Radnitsky, Nice. We have Elisha Owusu from Ajay Oxer. We have Abu Francis from Seb Bush. And then, uh, remaining the forwards, we have Osman Bukari from Brestal Belgrad. We have Abdul Fatau Ishwaku from Leicester City. Antoine Semino from Burnmouth. We have Jordan Ayu from Crystal Palace. We have Ibrahim Osman from FC Nordjylland. We have Kamal Dean Sulemana from FC Southampton. And we have Brendan Thomas Asante from West Bromwich. And that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, those are your players for um, the two matches.